<clears throat> okay, today for beach combing, uh, my name is Jace Tunnel with the University of Texas Marine Science Institute and uh, Mission Aransas Research Reserve. Today for beach combing, we're going to be talking about sea stars. See if you can see these. There is literally thousands of them out here at the high tide line. And these are gray sea stars. Some people call them starfish. Um, but these are all dead. And so uh, the tide is really low right now. We've had a couple of cold fronts this last week that have really pushed the water out. Uh, we're uh, right near Mustang Island right here. Uh, but what's interesting about these sea stars, and I'll pick up the camera here in a second and show you how many there are. Uh, literally right here, there's probably about 20 of them. But uh, the, these sea stars are pretty neat. They actually have a mouth. The mouth is right in the middle. And they feed on clams. Uh, they feed on gastropods. Uh, what we can, these, this is a gastropod. Uh, this is a shark's eye. A moon snail is the other name of it. Um, but that, that one might still be alive, I don't know. But these are interesting uh, too. They have five arms. What's really cool about these is that they can regenerate their arms. So if one breaks off, uh, it seals up and it'll have another one uh, that starts growing out of that one. So real neat. I'll see if I can find one of those for you all of these let me show you how many there are now i'm sure my hand's gonna smell something crazy when i'm done with this episode right but i just want to give you an idea of how many are here now the reason all these are here uh, there could be several reasons one is there could have been a, a low dissolved oxygen uh, maybe from the lack of waves we've had, maybe because the temperatures change um, or something like that. And they get to where they can't, you know, breathe. They have uh, gills and stuff like that, how they survive. And then uh, storm waves come in and just wash them all in. Then the tide goes out and they're all left here. That, that could be one uh, possibility. Golly. I think there's more than I thought there was. They really blend in. Look at that. Woo! Okay, let me pick the camera up. And I'm just going to leave the... If they were alive, I'd try to put them back in. But unfortunately, they're not. So there's, there's all those. All down. And it, it probably goes for another... I don't know, 50 yards or so, then, then there's uh, fewer and fewer. But there's all kinds of other shells in here too. Oh, part of a murex. Uh, let's see what else we can find here. Oh, look at this. This is the carapace, the top part of a calico crab. Uh, real neat. Those are real pretty too when, when they're alive. One thing I'm looking for is one of the starfish that are, have started regenerating an arm. Oh yeah, yeah, right here, okay. So you see this right here? Get to where you can see it. But that broke off and then there's a little tip that comes out, almost looks like a tooth. Of course that one's lost all of them. But, uh, but that right there was showing it was regenerating. Very cool. Okay. Lots of scallops. Black mangrove seed. These are the uh, casings for a tube worm. You can see they've got a bunch of shells that they put around this casing that they live in. Uh, look at this. Sea whip. It's actually a soft coral. People think it looks like rope. It's actually something natural. Lots and lots up in here. Oh, here's a 
different type of crab. Here's a spotted crab, carapace. Oysters. They do a lot of, um, you know, dredging. The sh there's a ship channel nearby, so they do dredging. And uh, with that dredge material, sometimes they put it on the beach, and so we get a lot of stuff that you might normally see in the bay, but it's showing up here. That's pretty common. Okay. Well, as you can see, this kind of goes on for a long ways here. Um, but just something interesting that's coming up right now. Uh, you can probably find this on North Padre, uh, as well as certain parts of uh, Mustang Island right now. Um, if, the, if these uh, sea stars are alive, put them back in the water. If they're not, they're already dead. Uh, you can take them home, you can dry them out, uh, but uh, trust me, they smell. Okay, all right, uh, that's it for beachcombing today. Uh, we'll talk to you next time. Thanks, bye.